Mercy. I was so honored to be invited to speak today. My head immediately swelled to enormous proportions, and my spindly neck couldn't bear the weight, and it sort of lolled over on my left shoulder. And I wondered what to say, and I thought, oh, I'll tell him all the things that I didn't, I should have told him in class. And then I realized that I should have told you all those things in class. I started to panic. My swollen head immediately began to contract quite painfully. And I thought, why did they pick me? This is their big moment. They should have the best. And then it dawned on me, this isn't an honor. This is payback. <laughs> Perhaps it was the exams or the papers or, or just merely the abuse doled out in the classroom. And I, I thought, those rascals. They're forcing me to write a paper and deliver it before a huge audience. <laughs> now, in as much as I have a gift, it's probably for flamboyant paranoia. Uh, I'm also pretty good at exacting the last full measure of revenge, so you'll be surprised to learn that I broke into the registrar's office and I changed all of your grade point averages to the lowest possible grade <laughs> that would all still allow you to graduate. So you should have picked the best. I'm not the best. I'm the Charlie Brown Christmas tree of the Lindsay Wilson School of Professional Counseling, if that makes any sense. But you've already had the best, in all honesty. You were probably too busy to notice it, but I'll tell you this. You have had the best training by the best group of professors I've ever known. Uh, I know this sounds sort of bloated and self-congratulatory and empty. Uh, I also know what I'm talking about. Uh, except for a brief stint in the Army, I've spent all my life, all my adult life anyway, bouncing around colleges and universities. Uh, I've seen pretty much all of it. Enormous state schools, tiny elite liberal arts colleges, down at the hills co heels colleges, prestigious Catholic schools full of grumpy priests and octogenarian nuns, and I've worked with folks from most every other possible variation in higher education. I've been around the block a few times. Sometimes it felt like I was dragged around the block a few times. So when I say that you've had the best training by the best professors, I know what I'm talking about. So listen carefully to what I'm going to tell you now. You are the best. 
I will match Lindsay Wilson students against any group of counseling students or clinical psychology students or for that matter medical students on their psych rotation. I guarantee that my students can whip anybody's students. When the dust settles, the person still standing in the ring is going to have a Lindsay Wilson sweatshirt on. They're going to be bouncing the other person's professional heart in their hand. Now you may think I'm exaggerating or suspect that I'm overcompensating for some sense of academic inferiority. Uh, you may think I'm trying to inflate your self-esteem, but mark my words. When you leave here, when you go out into the world, you're going to meet people trained at more prestigious schools. And you're going to measure yourself against them, and I'm pretty sure you'll find them lacking. You are the best. So what do I have to tell you? What information remains that I could give you that I could take, you could take with you when you're out there in the trenches? When you, when you glance over at the battered woman that you're transporting to a shelter and she slumps wordless and glassy-eyed against the passenger window. When you step through the door, making a home visit and the smell of urine and stale smoke and human misery hits you like hot air from an oven and your greeting sticks in your throat. When you sit in your car outside the funeral home, bracing yourself to go inside, wondering if there was anything you could have done, anything you could have said to save that poor doomed kid. I tell you this, be brave. The world is a scary place. It's full of death and suffering. It's full of anxiety and occasional moments of full-blown horror. So be brave. Cultivate courage. Fear, Frank Herbert tells us, is the mind killer. It clouds our judgment. It impairs our abilities. It drives us to withdraw, to flee. But you have chosen to walk in the darkness and help those who are lost there and who are trapped there. So I tell you, be brave. Be kind. There's no shortage of people in the world who are willing to be hard, to be ferocious, to be cruel, but that's not the path you've chosen. Kindness is all too often in short supply, so be kind. Speak the truth. Speak to reality, to fact. This does not mean you always have to say what you believe to be the truth. Uh, I sometimes say what I feel to be the truth, and I, I do damage. Uh, I tell my wife, well, I'm just trying to be authentic. And she suggests that another word, also beginning with the letter A, and not appropriate to mix company is more appropriate. So speak the truth, but think before you open your mouth. Sometimes it's better to say nothing. Serve the cause of justice. Sometimes it's hard to tell where justice lies, but injustice tends to stand out like blood on snow. And the surest way to serve the cause of justice is to oppose injustice. So stand for justice and against injustice. My wife, in a very real way, my better half, bids me tell you, be merciful. She's correct. Be merciful. Be compassionate. Show forbearance. Be a benevolent person. 